In this video, we'll be looking at some grade 11 and technically grade 12 exponent stuff again. We'll be looking at rational exponents. I'm going to teach you to write from, go from this form into this form and vice versa. Now in grade eight, nine, we would have taught you exponent laws as follows. You take this one over here, this exponent of eight, and you divide it by two. Why? Because this is a square root, it's got a little invisible two there. So this is going to be x to the power four, or maybe something like this. If I take the cube root of 8x to the power 15, you cube root 8, which gets me 2, because remember 2 times 2 times 2, 2 cubed essentially gives me 8. So if I do the cube root of 8, I'm going to get 2. And then again, that same rule, you take 15, but this time you divide it by 3 because it's a cube root. So that's going to be x to the power 5. So what we're basically showing you in this case is how to write this as, rational, as a number with rational exponents, or in this case, you have a variable with rational exponents. So if I give you something like this and I ask you to write it for me with a rational exponent, so like a little fraction like this, this is your base over here, you've got m over here and you've got a little n out there. This becomes your numerator, this becomes your denominator. As you can see, numerator, denominator. So I call it the inside divided by outside rule. m is on the inside, n is on the outside inside divided by outside. You can also reverse it and take something here with a rational exponent and you can convert it like this into this form. Remember, what is the numerator of this fraction will be inside the little house, inside the little root, and the denominator will go on the outside. So I can ask you, for example, to rewrite the roots. This is a root as powers, so something with an exponent, a base with an exponent, but with rational exponents. So you write the base, 3, inside, divided by, outside. So the thing on the inside is the numerator, it goes on top. The thing on the outside is the denominator, it goes on the bottom. Try this one quickly, pause the screen and try it. Okay, you've got x, what is on the inside, goes on the top, divided by the outside. Inside, divided by, outside. Okay, numerator is inside the little house, denominator is here in the root. Okay, try these two. These are two new sums. So same question. Pause the screen. Try it. So here is our x. We keep that over there. What is inside now? Remember, it's inside divided by outside. Inside divided by outside. The thing on the inside divided by the thing on the outside. What is inside? An invisible 1. What is on the outside? A 3. So x to the power of a third. And over here, x to the power of what is on the inside? 6. What is on the outside? An invisible 2. How do I know that? Because it's a square root. Square roots, invisible 2. So that's going to be x to the power of 3. So what if I asked you to do one like this, but I said, don't use a calculator. Show all your steps. So in other words, I don't want you to take what it says on the screen, type that into a calculator and press equals. I need to see your steps. I need to see you apply the rules that I'm teaching you. So step one, apply this new rule that I taught you, the rational exponents rule, inside divided by outside. So how would that look? Well, there's the eight, your base essentially. What is on the inside? Two divided by outside, three. Okay, so that's step one. Then step two, rewrite the base. Remember we said the base was eight. Rewrite the base in terms of prime numbers or as products of their prime factors or with prime bases, okay, prime bases. So you should know that eight can be written as two to the power of three. You can technically use your calculator to check you on that. So instead of eight, I'm writing two to the power of three. So I haven't changed the sum or anything. I'm just rewriting eight in that form. And then you apply exponent rules. So power inside multiplied by power outside. Essentially, these three ca these threes cancel because remember, it's three times two over three. It's basically these cancel, leaving you with two. Or if you want to think of it like this, it's three over one times two over three. You do top times top, gives you six. Bottom times bottom, gives you three. Six divided by three gives you two. Okay, so it's two to the power of two, which is four. And that's how you do it without a calculator. I hope that that made sense because in the next video, we are going to go over how to simplify expressions containing roots and the rules that I taught you in the last few videos are going to apply if we are going to do this correctly. So make sure you've watched all those videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.